Oh, hey, I'm Ed. So um, I wanted to do like a major throwback to a old uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! YouTube trope, which was uh, low quality videos while walking in public. Just walking my doggo, that's Ollie. It's a really cute dog. But um, what I wanted to talk about was definitely one of my favorite topics in Yu-Gi-Oh! that I think everyone should um, just have in the back of their mind. And that's the, uh, how you say, the, I don't know what I call it. I guess I call it the lottery ticket story. So a lot of people, when they play Yu-Gi-Oh, they kind of have this like really bad mentality, which is to like hype up an event. Obviously, you know, events are hype. They're like the best things ever. They're like little family reunions. But they put um, doing well on a pedestal and it causes them to, if they don't reach their goal, they kind of freak out and, you know, blow up. Sometimes people quit because, you know, they set it up to where if they don't top, if they don't do well, they don't even win sometimes, they feel demotivated. And I think that's like an important topic I wanted to talk about. So if you're probably wondering what the hell does lottery ticket have to do with a with Yu Gi Oh! or like what's the analogy here? Well, at the end of the day, Yu Gi Oh! has luck, it has variance, and it's our ability to, to control this variance. Sorry, my dog is like walking around freaking out, but it's this ability to control the variance that sets apart you from like the best duelist in the world. And it's this overall drive to keep competing, which makes these players consistent. And when you play Yu-Gi-Oh! and you're in a tournament, to win the tournament, you gotta get lucky. You gotta have the winning lottery ticket. So take it like this. The best players in the world, they have 50 million lottery tickets. They have a crap ton. They have like a lot compared to I don't know, some guy with an Exodia deck. It's a half ripped up, pooped, covered lottery ticket. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter if one person has a million lottery tickets and one person has one ticket. Only one of them is gonna win. And I think that's what people need to get right. At the end of the day, you can't control what numbers are called. You can only control the amount of tickets. And the way you do that kind of stuff is just, practice with a good mindset study study everything about Yu-Gi-Oh study everything about gaming being able to control your nerves being able to control just everything about it except for the variance and when you don't succeed don't be mad just look about how many tickets you had how many chances you've had to win at the end of the day if your ticket isn't called then you still have a crap ton of tickets left over and your number can be called any time. So, yeah, that's just something I wanted to say. That if you feel kind of disgruntled about not topping, about not doing well, about, you know, not winning a local, not topping your first regionals, not topping your first YCS, that as long as you keep doing the same thing, where you try to set yourself up for success, you're gonna top. My very first time ever topping, everybody thought I was already like a pretty decent player and it was like a deserved top. But I got stressed out for 50 million events because I kept going, man, when is my time gonna be called? When is my time gonna be called? And that's kind of not the thing you have to focus on. You just have to focus on, you know, saying to yourself that you did everything in your power to do well. And if you do that, then you're on the track to success. So hopefully my ramblings with me walking my dog, me barely breathing is pretty good. I love doing this kind of stuff where it's like a low quality video, but high quality heart. All right. Well, yeah. Thanks for watching.